Thank you, Mrs. Huerta. We're going to start off with the um, Martin Luther King Day and the march. If I can have those representatives and a wonderful uh, sorority of Delta Sigma Theta, please come forward. We're in their signature red. Are you doing? Yeah, if you could please come forward. The Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated was founded by 22 young African-American female college students in 1913 on the campus of Howard University in Washington, D.C. The sorority has a 100-year history of championing humanity, justice, public service, civil rights, but more specifically, women's rights. In 1913, the sorority participated in the National Women's Suffrage Voting Rights Demonstration held in Washington, D.C. The Delta Sigma Theta sorority's alumni demonstrate accomplishments in many fields. Distinguished alumni including Shirley Chisholm, Lena Horne, Wilma Rudolph, Mary McLeod Bethune, and Gladys Knight, that's just to name a few. Each year in the month of January, the Corpus Christi Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, they come together to commemorate the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. This celebration march reminds us of our interdependence and reaffirms Delta Sigma Theta Sorority's commitment to the betterment of our communities through civility and also through your tireless service. So now, therefore, pursuant to the powers vested in me, as your mayor of the city of Corpus Christi, I do by humbly proclaim January the 19th, 2015 as Martin Luther King Holiday Celebration and commemorate March Day. And this is in Corpus Christi, Texas. I urge all the citizens to commemorate the birth of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and know that his legacy lives on. Good morning. I invite everyone here and tell your relatives, friends, church members, co-workers, neighbors to come as well. The march will be held on Monday, beginning at 12 noon at the Nueces County Courthouse. From there, for opening ceremonies, from there, for those who are able, can march. It's just two, a little under two miles to the Episcopal Church of the Good Shepherd, located at 700 South Upper Broadway, and from there, and, and as we assemble there, we will have a great program for you. Lots of surprises, door prizes, uh, entertainment, a lot of good gospel music, a lot of good food. Um, I'm forgetting something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and, and a guest speaker. And, uh, and it, our guest speaker is, going to, is from Dallas, and her name is Dr. Laverne Reed. Uh, if you can't uh, do the march, we have free RTA shuttle buses. That's real important to me. But <laughs> and uh, everyone, like I said, is invited to, to attend, and, uh, and you'll have a great, a great celebration with us. Thank you. Thank you for all you do. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Could you just say your name real quick? Jewel Wilson. Miracle McGill. Gloria Randall Scott. Nikila Pradier. I'm sorry, I'm Marsha Hardiman and I'm chairing this and I need to tell you a little bit, just one second about how I got to be chair. Don't, uh, let's see, 17 years ago, I raised my hand at a meeting to ask a question. I didn't want to chair. I just wanted to ask a question. And I've been doing it for the past 17 years. This is my swan song. So don't raise your hand at a meeting to ask a question. <laughs> Thank you all. We appreciate it so much. God bless you. And now we have a celebration resolution for Dr. Hector P. Garcia and his achievements. If you can move forward, come forward, please. Thank you. 
Cecilia and Jim Akers, dear friends, we're so happy that you're here and appreciate, yes, your, your team members that have been very loyal. I'm also, we're also very privileged to have a federal judge with us today who's Corpus Christi's own, and Dr. Hector P. Garcia was her hero. If I can ask our federal judge, Hilda Tagle, uh, to please join us up front, please. Dr. Hector P. Garcia's achievements are of historic importance as a champion in the fight for civil rights for all Mexican Americans. A native from Mexico, he earned his medical degree from the University of Texas Medical Branch in Galveston, Texas in 1940. He served in the Army Medical Corps during World War I, excuse me, during World War II. He attained the rank of major and earned a bronze star with six battle stars for his valorous service. He returned to Texas to open his medical practice in Corpus Christi, and then he soon realized that Hispanic veterans were being denied benefits that they were rightfully entitled to under the GI Bill of Rights. Dr. Garcia founded the American GI Forum and grew to become a major civil rights activist that uh, worked to register voters, to combat racial stereotyping, and to bring about more equitable judicial proceedings. Dr. Garcia provided leadership and expertise in the civil rights arena for several United States presidents, beginning with President John F. Kennedy, the administration of President Lyndon B. Johnson, membership of the United States National Commission on Civil Rights, and on the National Ad Advisory Council on Economic Opportunity. And then in 1984, Dr. Garcia was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President Ronald Reagan the highest honor that may be bestowed on a civilian and was proclaimed a true American hero in recognition of his extraordinary service. Dr. Hector, as he was known, has a city park, a post office, and a health clinic at the Memorial Medical Center named in his honor. He has also received the first honorary doctorate conferred by Texas A&M University Corpus Christi, which also erected a statue of him and dedicated a plaza on campus in his honor. In 1990, he was further lauded for his exceptional endeavors by Pope John Paul II, that is now Saint Pope John Paul II. Dr. Garcia devoted his life to the service of others, and through his unrelenting efforts, the country he cherished achieved a full realization of its highest ideals. I know there's so many people in this room that were Dr. Hector and have so many memories and stories. I know Vicki uh, has a lot of stories as well, and I'm so happy to see you here today, Vicki, as well. But now, therefore, pursuant to the powers vested in me as your mayor of the city of Corpus Christi, I do hereby humbly proclaim January the 17th, 2015, as Dr. Hector P. Garcia's 101st birthday celebration in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we urge all the citizens to commemorate the birth of Dr. Hector P. Garcia by participating in the annual fundraising event, which will be a wonderful and memorable time. And this will be from the Dr. Hector P. Garcia Memorial Foundation as we continue to honor his lasting legacy of service to others. Thank you, uh, Mayor Martinez, and we would also like to congratulate all the newly sworn in council members, and may you have a very productive term, and God bless you all. Uh, we are very moved by all the love that surrounds my father and his accomplishments, and our foundation is working very, very hard to have him historically where he should be. So we are working on a new library wing, at Texas A&M University. Uh, it will be a learning institute also where you can do research and all of his documents are there and photographs. Uh, we are so grateful for all of your help and your support. And uh, our other board member, Steve Arnold, is uh, a true asset to our foundation and we are so happy that he is helping us. And Jim wants to extend an invitation today. We have a special event this afternoon. 
We'd like to invite everyone uh, this afternoon at 4 p.m. There is going to be a street dedication called Dr. Hector P. Garcia Drive. It will, it's done by Brazelton Homes. It's in Rancho Vista 2 off of Yorktown. Uh, it is the main entrance into that subdivision. This is the first street in Corpus Christi that's named after Dr. Hector. Maybe there'll be more. No, I guess we can't do that. <laughs> but, but everyone knows that Dr. Hector was a true uh, hero. He didn't feel he was a hero. He thought that he was a spokesman for the people and a voice for the people that didn't have a voice. And oh, what a voice that was. But if you can join us this afternoon and the remainder of uh, things we're going to be presenting the rest of the week, uh, we'd love to have you. Thank you. I'm Joan Vyth. I'm the commanderist. Don't you like that word? I made it up. <laughs> of the Dr. Cleo Garcia chapter. And the one thing that I like to say about Dr. Cleo, besides being a wonderful doctor, a wonderful person, was that we owe it to her really that Dr. Hector was able to do all of his good things because she took care of his practice while he was gone and busy and doing the other wonderful things he did. And I would like to take this opportunity for you to come and join our chapter. All the ladies, of course, are welcome, but we also accept men who have not served in the service. You're all welcome to come and join. I would like to see our council members be a member of our organizations and believe me we always have fun and usually we have something to eat so there can't beat that mr arnold that's uh, steve arnold and i'm the board uh, treasurer <coughs> moses strada i'm the commander of dr hector p garcia american gi form here corpus christi thank you hilda thagla a fan of dr uh, cleo and dr hector obviously and a fan of the city of corpus christi always in my heart Somebody who is uh, here on a national level, uh, a national extension of media, at, where is Ashley Hill? Ashley Hill with C-SPAN has a very uh, special message. If you can come forward, please. Please welcome Ashley Hill to Corpus Christi, Texas. <laughs> You may regret not having me stand at that podium because when anybody gives me a microphone like this, I think I should sing Proud Mary in front of the audience. So <laughs> if I bust out into song, guys, I apologize. Well, it's my pleasure to be here today on behalf of our C-SPAN networks based out of Washington, D.C. Uh, and we're here today as part of the C-SPAN Cities Tour in partnership with Time Warner Cable. C-SPAN was actually created by the cable industry in 1979 as a public service. Its mission to provide viewers with direct access to their lawmakers, which I think is something we can all get behind here, right? 
Um, but we have a lot of resources in C-SPAN. You'll see a lot of different programming on C-SPAN, but there are a few things you'll never see. Number one, you'll never see editorializing of any kind. Two, you'll never see commercials, because y'all are just gonna fast forward through those anyways. And number three, you'll never see use of taxpayer or government money. It truly is a one of its kind service. Since C-SPAN's founding in 1979, we've expanded to include C-SPAN 2 and C-SPAN 3. Now those house our book TV and American history TV programs every weekend for 48 hours, and brings me to why the C-SPAN Cities Tour is in Corpus Christi this entire week. Just as C-SPAN strives to make Washington, D.C. accessible to the rest of the country, the C-SPAN Cities Tour looks to turn a spotlight on unique cities that otherwise wouldn't be seen by our national audience. So how do we do that? We embed ourselves in a city for a week at a time, and our videographers, a crew of three, produces programming based on that city's history as well as local nonfiction literary life. So while we're here, we're going to be interviewing historians, we're going to be interviewing authors, uh, and eating as much Tex-Mex as possible and looking out our windows at water and battleships, which is something we don't normally get to see in Washington, D.C. Um, so I don't want to spoil all the magic and tell you everything we'll be covering in town, but it, there are a couple things that we're focusing on. It's uh, a great, great uh, timely opportunity for us to be here and speak about the life of Dr. Hector P. Garcia. We're going to be looking at his life through the lens of his archival papers housed at Texas A&M here in Corpus Christi. Uh, in addition to that, we're visiting the Museum of Science and History here in town. We're visiting, actually, someone is at the USS Lexington from our crew right now. We're also interviewing local authors, um, including Norman Delaney on his book, The Malti Brothers Civil War, and Dr. Anthony Quiros on his book, Claiming Citizenship, about the fight for Mexican-American civil rights in Victoria, Texas. So I also had the opportunity to get a sense of the city with an interview with your mayor, who I now think we're friends at this point. You've heard me say oh, this stuff. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. You could probably give my speech at this point. You've heard me talk so much about C-SPAN. Uh, and so that's going to air on C-SPAN's Washington Journal program as well. So every piece we shoot is going to air on what we're calling our special Corpus Christi Weekend. Now that takes place on C-SPAN 2 and C-SPAN 3, February 7th and 8th. Set those DVRs, but if you happen to forget, that's all right, because it will be housed indefinitely on our website at cspan.org as well. In addition to all of our televised pieces, our partnership with Time Warner Cable has allowed us to do extensive community outreach. That includes speaking with local civic groups, addressing city council, and also going into local schools and teaching students how to make their own documentary films via our C-SPAN Student Cam Student Documentary Competition. Again, I want to thank the city of Corpus Christi. You have been so welcoming to our crew while we've been here. We really do appreciate it. And we hope you tune in to our programming on Corpus Christi, February 7th and 8th. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Ashley. Well done. We're so honored. Thank you.